John Sloan is a prominent member of the Ashcan School. He is a self-described incorrigible window watcher, and he constantly wanders the streets of New York observing human drama. He focuses much of his attention on the working class, which he perceived as embodying the realities of life. So sympathetic was Sloan to the plight of the workers that he joined the Socialist Party and eventually ran for public office on the Socialist ticket. So what he's doing is very similar to artists like Courbet and Daumier that we saw in Europe. What he's doing is trying to take the plight of the working class and make it obvious to the middle class, to the upper class through his art. Of course, he's doing that because they are the prominent buyers for his art. And the piece we're looking at is 6th Avenue and 13th Street, New York. Now, of course, just like all the other Ashcan school artists, we're seeing an image of New York, but this one goes a little bit deeper. Now, this painting, which depicts an intoxicated woman crossing a street in a state of confusion and disarray in her white dress, illustrates Sloan's compassionate, non-judgmental approach to the squalor and misery he encountered in the Tenderloin District of Manhattan. The poor woman is framed by the dynamic elevated train and the commercial thoroughfare, which seems to heighten her sense of disorientation. On the right, we see two young, fashionable women who jeer as they pass by while the men on the corner look on with smug indifference. Sloan later commented that the canvas had surely caught the atmosphere of the tenderloin, drab, shabby, happy, sad, and human. So when we look at the piece, we have a couple of things going on here. First, we have the woman in white. She's drunk and disoriented. She's actually got a bucket of beer, and that was a lot more common then than obviously it is today. We have a reaction. Now, she is going to be working class or poor. That is our assumption. She's shabbily dressed. She's got the bucket. She's got these very unfashionable shoes. Whereas these fashionable women, who appear to be middle class or above, are looking back and judging her. And it's this judgment, this interaction between class that Sloane is trying to get at. Now, the woman in white isn't doing anything that's particularly unusual or difficult. Yes, she's drunk in public, but there's so much more that she could actually be doing. In the meantime, the men on the street corner are just sort of watching this as if it's part of life. The other people that we see are just going about their lives, not terribly concerned about what's going on here. So we have a human drama. Obviously, there's something troubling her. One does not usually walk around the streets during the day drunk and carrying a beer. And yet we get incredible judgment from the upper classes. The train gives us a sense of things changing in New York. Of course, the elevated train lines being fairly recent to the piece. And you'll notice the windows and the district itself are very crowded. We see people, we see things in the windows, etc. Giving us this sense of two classes coming together, two classes often clashing and judging one another. And it's this class struggle that he's getting at, again, like so many of the artists that we dealt with in the realist movement. He's doing exactly the same thing, but he's presenting it in a context that Americans will understand, the context of New York.